Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, not been too good over the last couple of weeks, so uh, had a bit of a disaster with a cold and all that over the last two weeks. I haven't really got around to putting any videos up, but I've uh, got a good one for you. Okay, I don't know about you, but over a period of time, I've had a lot of problems with uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 cutting off in the middle of the game. So I'll be doing a flight on the sim, and then all of a sudden it knocked me off. Crazy, don't know why it does it. It's been very frustrating. I've tried lots of different things to solve that problem. Um, none of them really worked for the long term. Anyway, one day I sort of started looking into the bios on my computer and realized that um, not really updated my bios. It's not something I've ever done. So I thought, what if I, if I update the bios, whether that could make a difference? So I did it. I looked into what motherboard I've got. I found out what the new drivers were, downloaded them onto a separate drive, which is the way you have to do it. So you have to put the tr new drivers on a separate drive and then go into your BIOS. Okay, go into your BIOS. And then basically there is a, um, a flash button, an M flash button. So you click on the M flash button. All right, and then download the, it'll ask you for the latest drivers, tell them where you put them. Upload the latest uh, drivers for your motherboard. Man, what a deal breaker. Suddenly, no more problems with the flight sim. I can't believe it. It's been absolutely amazing. So highly recommend you guys do that. Update your BIOS on your system. Real simple to do. Just find out your motherboard. Um, you can actually... If you look on my screen here, you can download the CPU ID uh, uh, program and then download that onto your computer and give you all the information on your motherboard so you know exactly what to uh, where to get your drivers from. Real easy to do. And then, like I said, go into your BIOS. Generally, you hit the delete button on startup. It'll generally take you into the BIOS. Hit the end flash button and then literally it'll ask for your drivers. Tell them where it is, like I said. And Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your aunt, as we say back in the uh, UK. Real easy, guys. Solve my problems. No more um, cutting off or anything like that. It's a real deal breaker, and I think it's going to help you tremendously. Give it a go, guys. Really simple. If this has helped you, please, you know, leave your comments below. Let me know. And also, um, don't forget to subscribe if you could subscribe. Really appreciate it. It does help. Other than that, have a very, very happy 2023. And no doubt I'll uh, be doing some more videos back in the new year. Give us a like, guys. Give us a subscribe. Have a wonderful new year. See you soon. Bye-bye.